Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I quickly wanted to introduce myself. I know I've gotten so many subscribers since my first video. My name is Rocio. I am married. My husband Julius and I are both active duty Air Force and we're currently stationed in Minot, North Dakota. We did have our first daughter back in May. She actually just turned two months this past Sunday. I did create this channel as a way for my daughter to see, you know, memories of her growing up and also help our family and friends back home kind of keep up with us since we are far away from them. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my exclusively pumping routine and how I use the Dr. Brown's pitcher method um, in my routine. So if you're interested, please stay and watch this video. Don't forget if you like it to subscribe, like, and share because it will help my channel grow. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so um, for starters, let me just say that I usually record with my camera, but I have been having issues. So I am recording with my phone and my notes are on my phone, so I'll try to keep on track. Um, but first I wanted to start with explaining to you guys why I decided to exclusively pump. So a lot of people will probably think that I gave up easily or I should be nursing, whatever the case is. Uh, but let me tell you guys something like, in society, as new moms, if you are a mom or if you're expecting, just be prepared for all the unsolicited advice and judgment. And I hate to say it, but you guys, if you formula feed your child, you're going to be told, well, how dare you not breastfeed? Breastfeeding is the natural way. It's what everyone should be doing, right? And then if you exclusively pump, you're going to be told, well, how dare you not nurse your child? Like, latch her on, wink, wink, right? And if you do breastfeed, society still gives you crap because you know, people get judged for breastfeeding in public, you know, some moms do. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but in some states it was even illegal to breastfeed in public, which to me, it's like, that is so bizarre. So you guys as new moms, or you know, if you're expecting or whatever the case is, like, just do what's best for you and your family. Hopefully throughout this video, you know, you learn some things from my process, but at the end of the day, please do what's good for you. Um, you know, at the end of the day, a fed baby is best and a good healthy mom is best as well because if you're not healthy and you're not taking care of yourself then you're not going to be able to take care of your little one so please 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 you guys take care of yourselves if you're a mom out there again this is what worked for me but you know through trial and error that's how i figured it out but you guys will figure it out on your own as well so i hope my video is helpful but i did like i said decide to exclusively pump um my daughter just never latched on you guys like ever ever and for those of you wondering i met with four different lactation consultants two at the hospital when i went to her first pediatrics appointment i met with another one which i requested and then there's another one on base which i couldn't meet person to person because of covid um but i did talk to her frequently and it just didn't happen so at that point, I was already starting to pump and that's kind of what started my journey. Also in the hospital, my da daughter's blood sugar levels, I believe are the ones that dropped super low and that was scary. And at the end of the day, I just need my daughter to be fed and safe. So exclusively pumping has worked for us. Now, as far as my schedule, when I first started out, of course, I, like I mentioned, she is two months now. When I first started out, you guys, I was pumping eight times a day because that's what she was eating. And of course, at that time, I didn't have a lot of milk. It was just sufficient enough to feed her. So now that I'm producing a lot more, I have dropped down my pumping sessions to six a day. And I do about 20 to 25 minutes each session, depending how full I feel. So that's kind of my routine. I will link down some like resources um, or some images of like the schedule that I followed. Um, it's a lot of work, you guys. It really is. But you guys will figure it out. Trust me when I say that you just really want to continue pumping as many times as your child is eating until you're, you kind of build your supply. Um, now, as far as supplements, you guys, what I am taking is I am still taking my prenatal vitamins. These are the ones I take and everyone should still be taking them because your baby is still taking a lot of your nutrients. Um, through your breast milk. So this is really important. I like these because they're gummies and they're a lot easier to take than huge pills. And then I swear by this next product, you guys. And also disclaimer, I am not a doctor. Again, I'm just kind of sharing with you guys my routine. Um, I do take this. I'm probably going to butcher the name, so I'm just going to share it on the screen. 
but this has changed my pumping game. And what I like about this, you guys, and basically it's for nervous system support, but a lot of mommies recommend it in a lot of the mommy groups that I'm in. And basically what it does, it helps me empty out faster. And I don't know how to explain this, but basically the flow of the milk just seems a lot smoother than when I don't take it. So go ahead and look into this, you guys. Do your own research, but I highly recommend this. And then, of course, the next thing I use... Oh, well, before I show you guys the picture, I do want to tell you guys the pumps I use. So I do use the Spectra one, which I do have a video of me unboxing it, and I'll link it down below. I do use that one, and then my awesome husband bought me the LV pumps, which are hands-free. You just kind of insert them in your bra. Um, I really like it, too, because it allows me to be more mobile. Now, the only problem with the LV that I have is it does not have as strong suction power as the Spectra one. And that really sucks, you guys, because I don't get as much milk when I use that or use the LV as opposed to my Spectra. So I do use it only when I really need to be hands-free, like if I'm super busy or I need to tend to the baby and do something else at the same time. Um, but for the most part, I do prefer my Spectra one. So those are the two pumps that I use. And then now I'm going to show you guys this bad boy. And this is probably why some of you probably clicked on this video. This is Dr. Brown's Pitcher Method. It is, or it was originally, I believe, intended for formula. Um, but I really like it for my breast milk. Again, I am going to show you, obviously, after I kind of go through some things, um, how I prepare her bottles and how I actually use it. But this is the pitcher. It retails about 10 bucks on Amazon. I did order two. Um, but basically, it has this, like, mixer thing. And as when you pour your milk in here, um, if you guys aren't aware, but breast milk also has fat. So the fat always rises to the top. So you have this chunk of fat and then the rest of your milk. So the cool thing about this mixer is you could do this and it mixes the fat throughout the milk so it's evenly distributed. So basically what I do, you guys, and I will again, like I said, show you throughout the day as I am pumping my six times, I pour my milk in here. And at the end of the day, when we're cleaning up the kitchen, kind of ending the day, I prep her bottles for the next day. And basically, I just go like this, mix everything up, and then I equally distribute it to her bottles. Now, we still use the kind bottles. That's something else I wanted to touch on. We have tried about four different bottles. We've tried Avent. We have, oh, my baby's crying. I'm going to try to hurry this part up. We've tried basically four different bottles, but she still prefers the kind. So again, I'll show you guys that. Um, and the cool thing about the pitcher method, you guys, if you guys are interested in it, is sometimes I produce, like, my morning sessions, I produce a lot. I produce about 13 ounces in the morning as opposed to late in the evening where I'm down to maybe 6 ounces. So the cool thing about that, you guys, is because you're mixing all your milk into one pitcher, um, essentially you can create or evenly distribute the milk as well for her bottles. Because, like, let's say my night session, I don't make enough milk for her, um, but then I have um, extra milk in the morning. Like it's just uneven. So it kind of helps you again, prepare her bottles for the next day. And this method has saved us so much time. Um, I really, really like it. I will show you guys, like I said, in the next clips, just how I use it and how um, I'm able to pump or, or pour my milk directly into here and make her bottles for the next day. So if you are interested, stay tuned, but I did just want to go over that with you guys. I am going to go attend to my baby because I hear her crying, so stay tuned for the rest of this video. Hey you guys, so I quickly wanted to show you, I just did a pumping session, so I'm going to show you. These are the actual LV pumps. I did use these instead of my Spectra just because I do have a doctor's appointment to take my daughter to, so we need to head out soon. So I did go ahead and use these. Now this is the pitcher. As you can see, I already have some milk in here from this morning. And this is what I mean, you guys. You can't really capture it on camera, but the fat rises up. So you use this lever or this mixer and you just basically mix all your milk together. Now, what I am gonna do is instead of pouring this milk into this pitcher, I am going to pour it into these bottles. So I'll show you what this morning's look like. So this is what I pumped uh, my previous session. So the reason why I don't pour it directly into the pitcher, you guys, is because you don't want to mix warm milk with cold milk. So I go ahead and just pour it into a cheap bottle that we have just for now. And it may seem like a lot of steps, you guys, but honestly, this takes like two seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and pour, um, I'll show you guys, this milk in the pitcher like this. 
And this is kind of why I'm glad I got two pictures uh, because I am blessed to overproduce. Not a crazy amount, you guys, um, but I am able to fill up a picture. So as you can see, this picture is already full and it's only 10 a.m. So what I'm gonna do next is pour my freshly pumped milk into one of these bottles and I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. So this is my freshly pumped milk and I just pumped five ounces. So this both goes in the fridge and then for my next pump, I'll then pour this into the pitcher and then pour the freshly new pumped milk into the bottle. Um, once you have a lot of milk in here, all of this is going to be cold. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference if you pour directly into the pitcher. What you essentially don't want, you guys, is to mix warm milk with the cold milk because it can cause bacteria. Personally, I haven't had a problem, but you guys can do your research, check it out yourselves. Um, but honestly, it may seem like a lot, but it's super, super easy, you guys. Um, and you're probably wondering, well, why don't I just pump into bottles directly? But again, the reason why I don't and why I like the pitcher method is because like you saw, I had two bottles of milk and now I only have five ounces in this pump. So I can evenly distribute the milk with this method. Another thing that I was going to show you, but since I am recording on my phone, is the pump log. Now it is free to download and you do get um, a few free slots to record your milk. Uh, but basically it does cost eight dollars and I do think it's absolutely worth it And what I do is it's basically you log in what time you started pumping for how long and then how many ounces you produce and it keeps track And what I really love about that app and I'll go ahead and insert an image of what it looks like But it also tells you when you can stop pumping if you do have a freezer stash so I will show you guys at the end of the day what that looks like when I do prep the bottles and I'll show you guys my freezer stash but basically where I'm at now is I can stop pumping by the end of January if I want to feed my daughter up to a year, which would be May of 2021. So that app is really, really convenient if you do want to build a stash or if you want to keep track of how much milk you're producing. But again, this pitcher method, you guys, is absolutely phenomenal. I know, again, it does might seem a little annoying that you have to pour it in here first. Um, but this only takes two seconds you guys it really does. It's super super easy So I will see you guys towards the end of the day I probably won't do another session because all of them kind of look like this anyway um, But I will show you guys at the end of the day how I prep her bottle So stay tuned for that and wish me luck because we're about to go to her first or I'm sorry her second month appointment where she's gonna get her set of shots So I'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> So I typically never fill up two pitchers. I usually only fill up one. But what you can do is you can leave the milk in the pitcher and then fill up your baby's bottles the next day. Or you can do what my husband and I do where we prep her bottles the night before. We do like prepping them the night before because all we have to do is warm up the bottle and just feed her. But it's totally up to you guys. Um, one thing I recommend is the good thing about having two pitchers is if you don't want to prep her bottles, you can always use the other pitcher to pour your next day milk in. So right now, I do just pour the milk in an empty bottle just to measure it out, and then I'll be pouring them in her bags next.
kept her bottles for the next day. Obviously we use bags because she does use the kind bottle, um, but it's totally up to you if you want to use regular bottles like these. Now, another thing I do do is I do put the date. Um, I only make about eight just because that's how much she's eating. So I do put the date in the corner. Um, for example, this one was for the 27th, so she still has two left for today. I do have a lot of extra milk, as you can see here. So I am going to quickly show you guys how I freeze this milk. Um, I did grab the bigger bottle just because I do like storing it in six ounces instead of just two or three because it saves me more space in the freezer. So I'm going to do the same thing I just did except I'm going to go ahead and use these bags. And these I do go ahead and label with the date, her name, and then how many ounces because I do plan on using this in the future. of six ounce milk that I'm going to be able to freeze. So I'm going to show you how I do that next. Um, the pitcher and stuff, all of this can of course be washed so I can start using it for my next um, pumping session. So what I like to do is I like to lay them flat before I put them in the freezer and I kind of switch it back and forth like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer. Okay, so um, like I said, these are just bags that I have frozen already. As you can see, I kind of um, do this with them just because it's easier to um, freeze them that way. And I already have a bag um, with some that need to be transferred to the actual um, deep freezer. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and put this in here. Okay, so this is the deep freezer, and since this bag is ready to go in there, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in here now. Um, I do need to organize it once I get more milk, but this is basically what it looks like. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video and learning more about how I use the Dr. Brown's pitcher method. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.